Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this cool ball explosion inside of After Effects. So for this effect, you will not need any plugins. So all you will need are the built-in effects inside of After Effects. So don't worry about going uh, online and downloading other plugins because all we're gonna be using are the ones built into After Effects. So let's just get straight into this effect. What I'm gonna do first is roto brush uh, the person here, a uh, little Yachty. So we just had this simple clip. We're going to go up to our rotor brush and just select this. So it opens up this new composition or this new layer. Start at the first frame here and just do a rough outline around your person or your subject. And then if you hold all on your keyboard while using your brush, it will remove your selection and then just hold down left click to make your selection. So yeah, basically you just want to create a rough kind of outline. You can also change your quality to best and make sure this version is at 2.0. And let's see here, that looks pretty good. Um, if your quality is at full here, instead of quarter, you will get better results. But for the sake of the tutorial, I want it to be quicker. So quarter will just uh, render everything faster. But yeah, I would recommend doing it in full, but you really don't have to. Uh, for this effect, you can kind of get away with the lower quality rotor brush. So what I'm going to do is just go a few frames forward. Um, just see like if the rotor brush is like messing up at all. So right here, you can see that it selects like inside here. So just got to fix that hands right here. And then just kind of go along with it. But yeah, so once you kind of finish uh, looking through your frames here, you just want to hit freeze and it's just going to freeze all your frames so they don't um, mess up while you're editing later on. All right, so it just froze. So we just want to exit out here and we just want to duplicate this layer two times. So now we have three of them and on the very bottom one, just delete your rotor brush. And on this middle clip, we're going to apply an effect um, called CC ball, CC ball action. Bring that on to your middle clip here. And with a scatter, this is where you can like mess with the, I guess, explosion or whatever effect you're kind of going for. So I'm going to have it start around like, I guess zero. Keyframe that. And then at the end here, I'm going to have it be more like this. And you can see in the rotor brush, you messed up right here, but fine we'll just ignore that I guess but yeah you can see that it explodes here if you want you can mess with the keyframes um, like the graph editing so if you hit F9 easy ease them and go into your graph editor you can get some cool effects with this All right, so that's looking pretty smooth. The only thing that's, I guess, not really smooth is this little Yachty clip, but I just pulled this off YouTube. So it's like 30 frames per second, and I tried slowing it down by like 200%. Uh, so yeah, it is very choppy, but we're just going to have to work with it. But yeah, just ignore that, I guess. So the next thing we want to do is apply some like shine to this clip. So what I'm going to do is go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And just search up shine, put that on your adjustment layer and just change your ray length to two or one. And it depends to you. And then the colorize, make that none. So then it's using the colors from the clip here. You can do uh, different colors if you want, but I think just none looks fine. Yeah, there's like tons of different things to choose from. I'm just gonna stick with none. Now we have like this kind of cool glow on here. I think it gives it a cool touch. And then we're just gonna add maybe glow. Uh, glow's optional. You can add that to your middle layer here where you have your CC ball action. You can kind of mess with the glow threshold. You can see how these like little balls get brighter, but I don't wanna make it too strong. Something like that, 50%. Pretty good. We'll just leave it like that. 
um the next thing i want to do is add like a little bit more motion to this clip so if you go ahead and add another adjustment layer i'm just gonna search up transform drag that onto our clip you don't have to do this um just for this clip i kind of want something else besides it just like slowly panning in so i'm gonna go ahead and go to our scale here do this at the very end and do like let's do 40 so now we have this but obviously you do not want this kind of animation in your video so what we're going to do is go into our uh, keyframes here uh, by doing that you just hit u on your keyboard on this layer and it brings them up f9 graph editor Make the graph look something like this or whatever you want it to look like. Uh, just mess with it. Try to get something that you like. And then I don't want this like black right here. So if you want to get rid of this. Search up motion tile. Bring that onto your clip here. And make sure it's above your transform right here. So it uh, actually works. But yeah, hit your edges. Make your width like 300. Height 300. Let's see. Yeah, that works. 300 looks good. So now when you play that back. Smoother animation there. We can also add in an effect called optics compensation. Bring that on our clip. Hit reverse lens distortion. Just bring that up to like 120, 110. Keyframe that again as well. Go to the very end. Make that zero easy ease those f9 and mess with the graph once again kind of tweak this a little bit the render is very choppy right now it's processing everything but yeah i mean it's really subtle this uh optics but kind of warps the edges just a little bit you can kind of see here on the horizon right here has a little warped so yeah that's pretty much it for this effect obviously you can get a lot more creative with it and add your own little spice to it or whatever you want to do but yeah this is kind of the basics of the cc ball action with a few other effects which are all built into after effects so literally anyone can do this without any plugins so you have to pay any money besides just after effects so yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found something helpful out of this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, but who knows when <laughs> with these uh, uploads, I've been kind of slacking, not going to lie, but that's just because like I've been super busy with school lately. Like literally every day I've had like uh, some homework to do and also editing videos for other people and myself. So I've just been super busy and haven't really had the time to do these videos. But I definitely want to do more in the future. Maybe with summer coming up, I might uh, try to grind out a few more tutorials for you guys. But yeah, I might work on like maybe like a day in a life or something of like a video editor. I think that could be kind of cool. So if you guys want to see that, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to create one of those videos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.